guys can shoot better in practice than they do in the actual game because the game is more internal than it is external. The issue is mental. I've seen this firsthand. If you go into that ring and you're not relaxed, you're gonna get knocked out. If we can get that brain and that body to not wrestle with itself, a fighter is able to go into that ring and be more present because they're not fighting internally and fighting externally at the same time. The current environment where tech and fitness are merging together, it's totally changed my mindset about fitness. AI coaching is always getting smarter. It's always learning more about you. That's how you get a leg up on the competition. Rain Total Body Fuel really hits at the mission I'm trying to get at, that fuel is for your total body. Your mind's the driving force behind your total existence. What you believe is what will become. We'll do that first, the brain-body balance circuit. Then we'll go to the detox circuit where we can really start to clean up your lymphatic system or support it more. We need to look at everything from a the total human being standpoint, not just from a, a psychological standpoint or a physical standpoint. Your mental emotional well-being is based on all of these systems working together. It's the same way you would go to a physical gym to create muscle contractions to build your muscle, but we don't build up the mind through work and resistance. We build it up through observation and relaxation. Our magnetic therapy creates a unified magnetic field. The magnetosphere is reducing inflammation in the body. Most of our issues are inflammatory. We have a far infrared sauna. This penetrates very deep into the cells and tissues of your body. When we detoxify our bodies, our minds become sharper, our mood elevates as well. Neurofeedback uses EEG technology to capture the brainwave activity, sends it back to the brain in real time, and your system now begins to regulate to a better state of homeostasis to experience this deep level of relaxation. I just remember saying to myself, if I, I can just take this out of this room with me, I'll be okay. I think that most people, when they think about things like anxiety or um, any mental issues, they think it's all in your head. The more you deal with stress and trauma and it's unresolved, you begin to break down. And that's definitely something that happened to me. My first love is in, in basketball. One day I was playing and I went up to block a guy's shot and he undercut me. And I fell on my back pretty bad. Our issues really are compounded over time, mental, emotional, and then that physical one just was the straw that broke the camel's back. I started having panic attacks, full-blown vomiting panic attacks. Palms got sweaty, my heart would race, I would feel like I almost having a heart attack. I dealt with insomnia, I had a racing mind thoughts. My memory is now depleted because I'm using all of my resources to survive. That was a real turning point where I needed to get my life back. I've always been kind of an obsessive person with certain things, and now I really had a desperate need to find a solution outside of talk therapy or medication. I got into self-development, different types of philosophies, understanding the mind-body connection, understanding that we can take control of our physiology. That brought me to our first technologies, which was called neurofeedback, and that's when I experienced a level of relaxation and presence that I never had fully experienced in my life. I mean, if I don't go through those things, how would I be able to help other people? So, you know, it was, it was a struggle, it was tough, um, but I wouldn't change that for anything because it gave me a sense of, of purpose and, um, you know, I enjoy helping people, so that's, that's the main thing. We are programmed and conditioned from a society that says everything is go, 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 do, 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 no days off. That's actually quite backwards. You can't change something that you can't observe. And awareness is gonna be the new key for us. 
wearable technologies give us understanding of how we're performing in real time. How many steps did I take? How long did I sleep last night? Did I get into REM sleep? Did I get into deep sleep? We're in a body-centric society where everything is about how much weight you can lift. It's all physically driven, but we're not just physical. We've been doing it in reverse. We're starting to wake up to this idea that we need to take control of our mindsets. The inner space is the final frontier, taking a look within ourselves so we can go to higher levels of awareness and achievement. We believe this will be the next wave of that idea of the gym where it become normalized, where mental health won't even be a stigma anymore. Your mind's the driving force behind your total existence. What you believe is what will become.